Hey folks, how we doing? Welcome to episode four of Sports Card Talk with Mark. First, I have a big announcement for you. Uh, I have actually, this show has gotten so big, such a large following that I've had to convert from Instagram to YouTube. So uh, thank you for following for those of you at home. Um, this episode has something for everybody, uh, for the adults, for the little kids, and for the you know children of the 80s. Uh, first, I want to start off with politics. Here at Sports Card Talk with Mark, we don't normally talk politics, but I'm going to make an exception. This is a 1991 card, I found, I'm sorry, 89 card, a guy named Earl Hutto. He was actually uh, our U.S. House of Representatives representative from 1979 to 1995. Uh, now we have Matt Gates, but for that era, it was, it was Earl Hutto. He was a very uh, Southern conservative Democrat, a uh, very good leader for our area. And uh, I actually met him and got to work with him for a day back in 1994 when I was living in D D.C. So that's Earl Hutto. That's your uh, section on politics. Uh, what I'm going to do now is go through some, some football cards with you, but all of these guys I'm about to go through are people that were famous for TV and movies. Um, uh, so first, let me start off with these. Two. This is one of my all-time favorite shows. It's called NFL Prime Time. You got Chris, Chris Berman and Tom Jackson. This is an 89 Pro Set card of Chris Berman. He never played football, but he actually got a card as an announcer. This is Tom Jackson. Uh, his, his peer in the show, he's more the football analyst, and this is a 1982 card, Tops. Uh, he played for the Denver Broncos for some years and was quite a standout. So that's the guys from ESPN. We got good old Terry Bradshaw. Uh, Terry has, Terry's a commentator on, I think it's NBC. Uh, he was also in a movie called Failure to Launch. Uh, he was quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, in the 70s through the mid 80s. This is his final year for the Steelers, uh, 1984 tops. You may have heard of this hard hitting middle linebacker named Bill Romanowski. Uh, he was in a couple of movies, The Longest Yard and The Bench Warmers, um, two pretty good movies. But before the movies, he was a hard hitting linebacker for the 49ers, Raiders, Broncos, and a couple other teams. He bounced around. You may have heard of this guy, OJ Simpson. He was on famous for some not so good. He was famous for some not so good things in the mid '90s. But before that, he played football for the Bills, and then his last two years, he actually played for the 49ers. Did you know that? This last one is a, a personal favorite of mine. Um, John Matuzak, 1980 tops. I'm sorry, 1982 tops for the Raiders. Do you know who John Matuzak is? Look very closely. Do you know who that is? Let me tell you who that is. Let me give you a hint. Hey, you guys! It's Sloth from The Goonies, your favorite movie from the 80s. That's him right there, Sloth. He became an actor uh, after, uh, after his football career with the Raiders, and they made him up in that movie. Uh, just, just as a bonus, The Goonies actually had some cards in the 80s. Uh, here you can see uh, Mikey with One-Eyed Willie, and in this scene, um, he's talking to One-Eyed Willie. He's finally found him, so pretty, pretty cool card there. Uh, thanks for joining me, folks. That's all.